obviously, my opinion, we have to go eight and four. I think anything less than that would be a little bit of disappointment. I mean, if we lose out, then the Steve Sarkeesian fire talk is a real possibility. You can't go five and seven back to back years. That's legitimately what Charlie Strong was doing. So you can't do that. Right now, currently, uh, Kansas State beating TCU 14 to 10. Crazy day across college football. Uh, go have a glass of three or three of bourbon, guys, to numb the pain. Um, I'm not a big drinker, so I will not be doing that. Um, <laughs> D4, I don't know. If you wanted to go, you want to go shoot some bourbon? Uh, I'm not a drinker, man. Uh, I, I have uh, I have other ways. <laughs> uh, I won't get into that on Mark's channel. But, uh, uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not a drinker, especially. I don't know. I don't like liquor. I think he's more of a devil's lettuce type of man, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's uh, cool. I understand. I get it. Uh, I would definitely rather go that route than drinking, but I, I'm going to go with neither because I got to work in the morning and I think I cool. may just take a Benadryl and just sleep. So that will be my way of numbing the pain. It's awesome. <laughs> get a work in the morning. Luckily, I don't <laughs> have to. And uh, I'm going to sleep in and. Uh, probably hang out with the knuckleheads in the Discord, uh, March Discord service, so you can get on through Patreon <laughs> and uh, talk about uh, my sorrows in there and uh, hopefully sharing some sorrows with those guys. <laughs> Listen, I'm a gigantic sports fan, and this sports weekend is just a big old shit fest for me. I have, I'm a Yankees fan. They're going to get swept by the Astros, so that's going to be fun again. Uh, the Obviously, Texas lost. I'm a Broncos fan. Russell Wilson's hurt. They're playing like absolute dog crap on offense, and he's not even playing tomorrow. So it's like I want to be – I'm so invested with sports, and then this stuff happens, and it hurts, man. It sucks. I don't have an NBA team. I'm a Thunder fan, but I, I don't watch them anymore. I mean, they suck, and there's no point of wasting 82 games of that on myself. So I just don't even know what to do anymore. Like – I, I'm re, like legitimately I'm praying for Texas basketball to be like a top 10 team this year. That's what I'm praying for. What are we preseason ranked? We're, we're top 15. I'm not hundred percent sure our exact ranking, but a lot of transfers. We got Tyrese Hunter from Iowa state. who was the big 12 freshman of the year. Uh, mm -hmm. Dylan Mitchell came in really good player um, from Florida top. I believe 20 recruit Marcus cars back. I mean, this team should be a top 12 team in the country. There's no reason. Yeah. They yeah I seen, I seen where a bunch of guys were, uh, Coming to visit like Stiak Stiakovich and uh yeah, you know, that would be yeah. that would be amazing. Yeah, he's he's in our top, he's or we're in his top four, and that'd be amazing yeah. to get Peja Shoyakovich's son. I think yeah, we'll be in the running for LeBron James's kid too. I think we'll make his top shot probably 10. Uh what about six and six? Does that fire up? Uh I mean, yeah, with some fans, uh that would uh fire up some talk. Six and six gets us to the point to where if he doesn't win the bowl game, I believe the fire start talk starts to come. I don't think seven and five does because you got to look at is it an improvement over last year? Five and seven to seven and five is a two game improvement. If he does that again next year and they go nine and three, we I think we wouldn't be happy about nine and three next year because we see that as more of a big 12 championship year. But I think we would be like, OK, there's improvement like we just want steady improvement. If we're talking year four, we're winning conference titles or competing for conference titles, which will probably be our last year in the Big 12. I think there's no issue with that. Like most Texas fans would take that. But we just have to have improvement. Five and seven, six and six does put like half five and seven. I think most the fan base would be let's we got to find someone else. Six and six would be like win the bowl game. We'll give you another year. We'll see what happens. But five and seven, 100 percent puts him on the hot seat. But, but my thing is, is even if he gets put on a hot seat or the fire starts, who are we going to replace him with? Yeah. There's nobody out there that's enticing enough. There's nobody out there that uh, is going to leave the job, the current job that they are at to go be lined up in front of the firing squad, <laughs> you know, when you lose a game with this fan base. Hey, there's a guy sitting on a TV set with Fox. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, if we go six and six or five and seven, that's going to be start to thrown out there again, right? Oh man, 
and yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll, it'll, it'll be out there. Yeah, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I really believe if he doesn't take that Jacksonville job, he is our head coach right now. I'm very confident saying that because there was too much smoke there. Like he was legitimately behind the scenes talking to Texas guys. There was money thrown around. You could hurt, start to hear like what type of money he'd be making, and he was looking for a coaching staff. But I, then I think he got the Jacksonville job and he wanted to test himself, which in on his he was stupid for that. He should have stayed in college. He should have joined us. But I I don't. I didn't want him a couple years ago. I will. T- I don't care if you want the devil to be our head coach. I want to win. So, and he wins. He wins wherever he's ever been in. And I think we definitely have the talent. Like he's definitely the type of guy where he looks at the rosters like, can I win instantly with this team? This man can come in here and win instantly. There's no doubt about that in mind. So, I don't think it's going to happen. But the rumors are going to be there. If Shelly Smith was your Palmer sister, then there's no way in hell you'd want Urban Meyer as your coach. Uh, at this point, I, I want to say something as a god awful joke. I'm not going to say it because this isn't my channel. But don't get, I, don't, don't, get, don't get caught up in it. Don't get yeah, caught up in it. I won't. I won't. But I'm not trying not to get canceled before my career, <laughs> career and this type of thing even starts. So I, but I want to win. I really don't care about the off field stuff. I don't. I'm done with it. I'm done caring. I'm done taking the moral high ground about this stupid stuff. Like I want to win. I'm done with it. I want to win football games. I'm sick and tired of losing. I don't care if we hire a guy who's doing coke every weekend with strippers. If he's going 12 and 0, I don't give a shit. It's not my life. It's not, it's not, I'm not doing it. So I really don't care. That's how I look at it. I'm, I think you're muted D4. I said here at Mark Rogers TV, we're not here to judge coaches based on their personal life. We're basing it on their record. Yeah. (laughs) Like if, don't get me wrong. If I could have the perfect human being, who could also go 12 and 0. I'm going to choose that every freaking time over mm-hmm. that guy. But if you're telling me I'm going 7 and 5 with a perfect human being or I'm going 12 and 0 with an absolute scumbag, I'm taking the scumbag every time. <laughs> hey, that's fair, but my point is I'm getting my degree to be doing this full time on TV. So I don't want to be canceled before that even starts is my point. <laughs> Because you know how life works, and if I were to get famous in 10 years, this would be brought up, and I would be donezo. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You already had that in Tom Herman. Yeah, we did, and he couldn't even do that. He went 10-4 and four as his best season. So, <laughs> But see, we got to take his boss. His boss just didn't pass down all the knowledge. He just gave him the shitty knowledge of Coke and strippers and stuff like that. He didn't take the good stuff. Oh, uh, man. Urban, <laughs> Urban's head is already hurting. Yeah, from watching yeah. this team, it definitely is. Take him having <laughs> chest pains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after Quinn Ewers goes 19 of what, 49 in, his first, yeah. in one of his games, he's going to be dead on the sideline. So, of course, you know, I live in Ohio. I could have been an Ohio State fan. Life could be easy for me, but I had to go down this route, and this route's hard. I live in Tennessee, and hey, you'd be doing. You would have been doing about the same thing up until now. Tennessee's good now, but <laughs> yeah, it's the, 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 I've seen their misery. 